Hello guys, another video from my car as I do every Saturday about Dev career and not that much about Laravel directly. And let's speak about small versus big projects and one dangerous thing that I see in small projects. I am a big fan of putting the advice where it needs the context. So for example, if someone is advising you to use one or another pattern or framework or feature, the context should be what is the project? Is it a small on small budget quick one or is it a mega structure with multi-tenancy and millions records in the database? So then that advice may or may not apply. And speaking of small projects, in my experience, I've had a lot of small projects during my active freelancing years. So it was kind of like factory of projects. So month after month, something new. That's when our quick admin panel was born to make it faster. And then the goal was to deliver quickly. The quality was still kind of 80%. It was there, but we didn't put the extra mile with the team, didn't put the extra effort because the budgets of the clients weren't that big. So the goal was to deliver something on good enough quality quick. And I'm a big fan of not over engineering if you have a goal of delivering quickly. But this approach has the downside. Probably the most common example is skipping automated tests, unit tests, PHP unit or pest tests in Laravel projects because, well, no one has time to write tests, right? Or maybe you skip some round of refactoring or cleaning up the code for a better structure because you have to deliver quicker. And that is fine on smaller projects because, well, the client is happy, the project is small, no one really cares that much about like refactoring architecture decisions and automated tests, and you kind of move on with only some small features here and there, small fixes for the project. But the thing is, if you look long term for your career, it's not beneficial to not practice good practices on smaller projects, because when would you practice else? If you want to grow in your career and get a better job into like medium position or senior position, it would be a requirement to have experience with stuff like automated tests, continuous delivery, advanced design patterns with Laravel or whatever framework you use. And if you don't practice at least some of it on smaller projects, then you won't have experience. And then what would you show to potential employer? So on any small projects, you do have to deliver, and that is your main goal, well, to make the client satisfied, to earn money and stuff like that, but try to add some time, maybe on your own time without extra budget, to test something new, test something different, test something more senior-ish or something more for your future. Maybe it would be some package, maybe upgrading Laravel version, whatever it is, but invest in your future and turn that into a habit. So a habit of deliver quality product, like the testing, let's go back to the classical example of automated tests. If you don't ever write tests, then that turns into a habit. So you are in a habit of not writing tests because why? The projects are launched, everything is okay-ish, and you are in a habit of not writing tests. But if you start building the habit of writing at least some tests, then slowly with every small project, it will turn into a bigger habit and then you will have practical experience with that. If you can, you can negotiate with the client extra time and extra budget for those extra features, even if they were not agreed upon in the beginning. But generally on every project you need to invest in your career and habits is the best way to do that. Because as someone said, I don't remember, there's a phrase, how you do anything is how you do everything. In other words, small decisions, small habits grow with you together in your career. And then when you reach the stage when you want to change the job or change your position for a bigger salary, then your habits would kind of catch you there. And if you build good habits until then, then the grow would be easier. So my overall point of this video is advice to you, build good habits, even on small projects, even if it's not required. Sometimes you do that for free, but that's an investment in your future career. Do you agree? Have you experienced anything like that on smaller projects? Did you over deliver on something on your own budget, on your own time, just to try something out or gain some experience? Shoot in the comments below and see you guys in other videos.